Hi there, my name is Michael, I'm from MindGem Graphics and today I want to show you my latest graffiti font you can use in Photoshop or Procreate to create your own graffiti designs. Uh, if you see me right now, you can see I'm a little bit banged up. I had an accident with my scooter the other day. So anyways, let's get to it. Okay, so this is how the file looks like when you open it in Photoshop. Each letter is on a separate layer, so you can move them around and rearrange them to create your own graffiti designs. And that's what we're going to do right now. So I'll open up a new uh, document here. Mm, doesn't matter the size here right now. Uh, I'd like to use a dark background to make the graffiti pop. I'm going to put this on the side right here and uh, what are we going to type? We're going to do a name design. I have um, I have not pre-planned this so let's do show, um, Porky. Okay so I click Porky, I uh, click P and hold down Shift O R um, Q why? It's gonna be a great spell that uh, Porky. Okay, so I close this up. Uh, we don't need that one anymore. So I got the letters here right now. So let's let's start. So P O R Q Y. So what you want to do is rearrange the order at first. So uh, we want the O behind the P the R behind the O and the Q behind the R. So easiest way to do that is just to drag the, you have the auto selected group here or a layer, doesn't matter because these are flat into one layer. So when I click the R, the R is getting selected, but we click the Q, just drag it down so, so it get, gets underneath the, key, uh, the R. Same thing with Y, put that on the bottom. All right, let's zoom in a bit. And this is, this is 100%. This is the actual scale. And um, the scale is set to 72 DPI uh, for web, web publishing. Uh, you're only allowed to use this for for the web and uh, for a personal use. You, you, th these are too small to get printed. On a side note, if you wanna get a high resolution graffiti design for commercial use, you should check out my website at um, customgraffiti.net instead. All right, so, Anyways, back to this uh, design here. This looks good to me. And now let's see what else can we do. We can do, let's, let's do a key line. And the key line is the line that goes all around the edges, but not inside. So it's not like an outline, it's a key line, just on the outside. The easiest way to do this is to select everything. Just hold down your uh, select tool here hover over everything and then you see all the um, letters are now selected. You can click on uh, PC, you can click control, no, uh, sorry, uh, you can drag these down to the plus sign and make copies, right? So now we have copies. On PC, click control E or command E on Mac and you have uh, you have flattened down everything to a single layer. And now you can uh, go to layers. Uh, I have uh, uh, sh uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts for everything. So I have to remember where to go from, from the menus. So outer glow. Okay. So we want stroke, right? Stroke. Uh, let's select white just so we can see it. And now it's right now is it on the inside and we want it on the outside. All right, cool, cool, cool. So 
what looks good. That looks kind of good to me. So I'll let that go. And now I want to, I make a new layer and I want to have some bubbles. I love bubbles. Bubbles and graffiti go hand in hand to me. So I'm going to just uh, select the normal brush tool and um, have the hardness to 100%. And um, so I don't, I, I don't want, it, want it feathered. Uh, so I'm just going to put these um, bubbles all around the design to make an, uh, a nice composition here. So you want to have some sort of balance, but it's going to, you want it to look random, but you want to actually have uh, an organized layout. So, okay, so let's say that's uh, great. So, okay, I want to change the colors. I don't like the white. So what I do now is do, I have the bubble selected now and I, uh, I control click the, um, the key line we just made and then hit control E to uh, make them flatten them uh, all together. And then I go to layer and layer styles and gradient uh, overlay. Okay, so let's pick a color here. Okay, I have these presets. We can do anything, of course, but let's see what 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 do, what what uh, what goes great with purple, green. All right, that looks fine. A little bit um, brighter, and that looks good to me. Uh, another thing I want to do is to put some highlights, some extra highlights. And these are absolutely easy things. You don't have to be a Photoshop expert to do these things. Um, so you can do this. So at the top layer, click the plus sign to create a new layer. And then we take the brush again and we have white selected. And now we want 0% hardness. So it's going to feather out. Uh, we want mm, this kind of size. And then also we want to have the opacity set to maybe ah, 30%. All right, so let's click on the, um, on the edges of these already made out highlights. Not everywhere. You have to, again, try to balance it out to see what fits together. So I like one down here and I just click twice. Now you, you can uh, have a feel what looks good, but um, not too much, not too much because we're going to do another thing after this. All right. So, okay. This looks fantastic to me. And what I do now is just reduce the size about half that. And uh, you can keep the same um, opacity and then click on the same spots you just created to get that extra and the extra pinch of uh, light. <clears throat> all right, this looked fantastic. And now all you have to do is to Save this and publish it on your social network or send it to a friend or whatever you want to do. But remember, it's for personal use only. You can't sell these or do anything like that. What I usually do when I have the design finished, I just uh, use the crop tool. No, uh, this is the, um, the marquee tool. All right, I'm selecting a border here and then go to image and then crop. Right, so now you have the, the size of 700 uh, at 300. Yeah, that, that, that's pretty normal. It's a standard size. And then you can save it for web. Export for web. You set the, rest of the, uh, the uh, settings here. Quality 80 is standard. If you want to drag that down, 
you're gonna see RK50. Uh, you can see right here, it's gonna get a bit of grainy. If you zoom, zoom in, you can see how much it reduces. You wanna keep as, as low as possible without um, screwing up the, um, the crisp uh, look. So you make a choice here. So it, it is good if you, Check here, the file size is 83 kilobytes here, and the difference between 100 is almost, uh, you can't see the difference at all, and that's a uh, uh, sizable um, file size difference. And then just save it. All right, so that's how you do it. So if you want to um, play with this yourself, just go to my... Um, uh, uh, my web store, it's at mindgem.bigcartel.com and you can find a bunch of fonts here, different fonts, different college schemes and um, as you can see all my fonts are just $10, not more. Alright, well that's it for me, so um, have fun uh, creating graffiti designs. i uh, see you guys later, bye!